be here. Uh, yeah. Oh God, no! Charlie! Oh my god. I guess we weren't supposed to take him very seriously. What the hell is that? Won't you spare me over till another
Hello. And welcome to my repository. I was really into that intro. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. Die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, Inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda, yeah. I wanted to, I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Wow. Dude, you know I'm not, like the best around new people, whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean like we're buddies, you know? Um, kind of. What? I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just make it a few legends, man. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the what the fuck are you talking about? Julia? It's been rough.
It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? Hard to know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! Oh man, is that is that Iceman from the X-Men movies? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up man, it's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, comrade. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. <laughs> Connie. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I, I love beer. Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Bradical. It's Jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> 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 nice gift. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Yeah, cool. I love uh, ships. You're selling, I'm buying. It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. See those eyes. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. 
Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way? <laughs> Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? <laughs> I just want to make sure we're both contributing equally to the relationship with our money. It's very sweet, Alex but you contribute in other ways. It's just money. If it helps us have a good time, great. That's what it's for. <laughs> Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... <laughs> We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I, I hope it. only Brad lives. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. <laughs> what? You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Oh, I can't turn it back on. doesn't look kosher. Yeah. Huh. What am I 
looking at here? Oh. <laughs> So I guess this is kind of like the little hints in Until Dawn, which I never used because <laughs> I didn't know how to read them correctly. Yeah, the totems. What's up? How you doing? Hey. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I'm not dude, sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Are. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. T. Shartley. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. For a first oh shit. What is this? I got the bang stick. Oh, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? All right, kids. On a shark? No. Nope. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is 
was like way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. <laughs> Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. <laughs> uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Yeah, I forget, Conrad. <laughs> wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. God damn it. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack, you're out cold. That makes no sense. <laughs> You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? Known him my whole life. 
Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Could like go through her stuff. keep these around. Huh. Okay. It looked like maybe he was hiding under the bed. Yeah, why do I keep hey, these Fliss. around? Look, there's a boat. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Ten bucks? Wow. Oh, this guy. Oops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot. You you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Frig off, Connie. said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. Ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring.
Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Yeah, I agree. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Happen here. And we'll look at things. They knew they were goners. <laughs> uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. I thought she was gonna keep the little like locket too. Time. Pretty yeah, scary. Yeah. It's Julia and Alex.
Oh, shit. Oh, God. Alex. It's a gray reed shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Fidgeting. Uh, I don't know. I I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We got to decompress here. What oh, the damn. fuck? What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Ah. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is. What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is I huge. know. Like Full your head stuff. explodes. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just... You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thanks. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience. Maybe they're with this the kind same of narrator, yeah, and they I could just change forms. I'll go look for him. 
That'd be cool. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. What's next? I'll be honest, lately I've been wondering about the same thing. Where do we go from here? Look, when we get home, we can talk about some stuff, but relax. I mean, it's not like we're breaking up. It's just some stuff we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. Got it. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad and Fliss. Hey, you seen my brother or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. What? I made every effort to make sure that you didn't happen. Fuck around like that, Julia. Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Wait, I shouldn't... Dangerous for my blood. I shouldn't leave that picture on there. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. <laughs> Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow, do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. 
No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's you said bad luck. Girl. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool <coughs> ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. What the fuck? So ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. I don't know how he did that. Okay. That was weird. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. You're a con man.
I will. Yep. Okay, I'm back. I went to get water. <laughs> I think so.
dogs free. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. <laughs> Alex, what are they going to do to us? Don't worry. If they were going to kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Guys, we got to get untied. Right now. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. That's exactly what I was thinking of. We did later. Be on your best behavior, little man. Get off! Get off! <clears throat> Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Oh shit. Fuck. Motherfuckers. Hey, hey. Are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? The uh, really narrator happened? was in the hallway. Just have 
to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yeah, he was just like standing there. Like he was watching. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. Real spooky. And he's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. Well, we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Buster. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. No. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! He's trying to kill me or son. This old junker. Bring them downstairs. Dig this. I have no idea. <laughs> Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? That would be the logical thing to do. I guess the logical thinking thing to do. Connie can take care of himself. 
Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Oh my god. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged <laughs> You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up! There I am, so... What a cork in it. The storm is gonna last. If you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of bus and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Oh my god. Conrad said he was hiding under the bunk beds. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Oh my god. It's a ghost ship. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <laughs> it's ghost ship, yeah.
I've never seen that movie. I heard Bones is in it, right? To save somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the... I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Oh, wait. Wrong movie. I'm thinking of Boogeyman. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Seems like a good guy. Junior, you retire la tête à l'image. Yeah. He'll probably come back. Jeez. This whole place is a floating death trap. Maybe I should have, like, saved it for later. <gasps> Not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Ah! Oh. 
You know, that makes a lot of sense. Why would there be rats? I guess it's not all as it seems. Osan, you in part to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. is this fucking place? Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Well, I hope he figures out how to get himself to our new coordinates. So, what's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Alex is kind of an idiot. <laughs> Oh no. Ghost dog. What do you think this ship was? Who cares? Brown. Alex, I'm really scared. This guy, Miller? That seems pretty spooked. <laughs> what? 
This is very strange. Why? Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Faites que. Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Ton cul. Ah, tu vas rouler ça. Stripped. Not gonna work that way. Prisonnier On est en prison Charme. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Je sais pas, cet... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on se fait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce radio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules. Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine. Et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. I wonder what... What do you think? Can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. <clears throat> Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead.
now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Um, the don't move thing. Uh, they're both pretty nerve wracking. Although the don't move thing sometimes didn't work right. Like, I don't know, something was wrong with like the controller. I'm pretty nervous when I do the heartbeat thing, too. I'm just afraid if it's gonna go like super fast on one of them, I'll be like, oh fuck. Jeez, maybe this is what scared everyone off. Oh my god. Me too. It's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Oh, hell no. What is this? Classic key item in the toilet. Yeah, there was like a guy there.
Jesus, what's next? You. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. This looks like the area where I'm about to encounter Birkin. Yep. Something moving around down there. What? Like what? I'm not sure I want to find out. I gotta keep going. No, no, I, I cannot take any more of this. Julia. No, no, no. No, I can't. I, I can't do it. Julia, you gotta calm oh. down. Let's go. Yeah, I think this is a supernatural game. Anything we can use down here? No. This is just an old piece of junk. The Duke has a newer engine. We're just gonna have to get the cat back. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Big engines. Oh my god. Ghost rats. I know it wasn't audible right there, but that got me pretty good. That's like Friday the 13th. It does. Who's in the box?
Then hurry. Well, I don't need you barking orders, big guy. <laughs> Keep an eye out. <gasps> Holy crap! Someone's coming! I like Fleth. J'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Damn it. this now.
We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? I don't remember being here. Oh my god. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. It's exactly what it is. We're the two bumbling idiots from the beginning. Today's beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Wow. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we got to go through here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, one of them did say baloney earlier. Guess that was the slang back then. something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! <laughs> Has our relationship gone up? Uh, 
Okay. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such thing as... <laughs> well, you know that, and I know that. But do the ghosts know that? What is this? This was practically falling off anyway. Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Will you please hurry? Please? <coughs> Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Got some serious locks in these caskets. You got me there. Why would they be chained and locked? Hmm. What's the matter? Shh. Huh. What is it? Look! Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? That's pretty nuts. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. Oh, what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh, why so spick and span? This is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. What the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Any medicine we find in here is... Ooh. Aspirin. Aspirin? They got a lot of problems, but a headache ain't one. Oh, that better not be a veiled reference to me, mister. Oh boy, what is this? Ooh. 
What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. Uh, how much longer do you want to stay up? Okay, we'll play longer then. Can I do something with this? Yeah, I guess not. I guess it's just one solid playthrough. The cool thing about this game, though, is it has multiplayer. Come on, come on. Fucking place is cursed. Look 
this. Ing, madam. I wonder what that means. It's like something ing, madam. Keep moving. Oh my god. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Yeah. <laughs> Olsen! Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Everybody's a ghost expert. Oh my god. What the fuck? Anyone there? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yes, I do remember that.
I hella jumped. That premonition with the that hooded guy looked pretty weird. Oh shit. It was Brad the whole time. Oh, Jesus. What happened down here?
Hello? Who's there? This can't be good. Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. Nope. I hate how everyone's barefoot. Or except for Alex. And I think Julia. A little bit. It looks it looks uncomfortable. They've been walking in a lot of like nasty liquid too. Holy shit on a shamrock. What happened here? Spooky. the Asian guy's like skin. What am I hearing? Well, that was real spooky. <laughs> oh shit. Man, they're turning it up. Ugh. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> yeah. Sponsored by Spirit Halloween.
How are you looking here? Buck up, beat boy. Buck up. Maybe they're through here. Uh, I need to use the bathroom real quick.
I'm back. Are you ready? Alex? Julia? Hello? Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Ah. No. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Some sort of altercation. Hell yeah. Alex? Julia?
Well, I think I fucked up right there. name is this. Yeah, I didn't really get that part either. I'm just wondering if that was a trick or if I actually fucked up when I was playing Brad. Because there was one area I didn't check before I fell down. Right. going on here? Let's keep your head on straight.
Oh my this god. This is too weird. It's gonna be me in the coffin. Is it still broadcasting? Okay. It gave me a message and said it was like something was wrong, but I guess it's fine. Okay, well, uh, we'll stop at the next stopping point. You want to stop now? Okay. Till next time. Have a good night. And thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Okay. Good night.